Hi, my name is Roger. How are you doing? In my mixing series, we've done a walkthrough on my mixing template with stock plugins. We set up the template for mixing. In the last episode, we went roughly through the drums. Today, it's time to mix some instruments. <laughs> So here is the session. You can see I have looped only the chorus because the chorus is more crowded and there is where most things happen. So let's start with the chorus. And I want to start listening to the percussion. So here it is. Let's solo up the shaker first. It's fine. It could use a little bit of a room. So let's see if we raise that. Mm, let's check the room. Maybe I can do it. Maybe I can make it a little bit shorter. That's okay. I don't have to do anything more with the shaker, I think. The tambourine. Okay. It sounds a bit thin, and also the hits have too much low end, at least for my taste. So let's take a channel EQ. Now it sounds really thin. So let's try an overdrive. And put it in the same room as the shaker. Both of them together. Yeah, why not? We try that. I have two claps. I know I want to have a long reverb on one of the claps. That one. It only comes in a few spots in the song. So let's put a reverb on the channel itself. Reverb, chroma verb, why not? Hmm? I need much longer and brighter. So let's try a... Uh, let's see what we can... Vocal chamber, how... Does that sound? Now it's too long. And I need, I actually want more of it. Less distance. And let's brighten it up a little bit. I have a picture of the sound I want in my head, and I'm looking for that. That's better. The claps. Hmm. I will do a trick I learned somewhere. I don't know where. I will use the pitch shifter in stereo and pitch the claps down maybe two semitones and have the mix around, I don't know, below 50. Let's try a little bit more. They are fatter. Let's try also a stereo spread on the claps. Not that.
that maybe. And then I would like to check the long reverb on the claps. Which is too long. And some pre-delay. Attack and pre-delay. Too much, obviously, but I think it sounds good. All things together. Something like that. We start there. Can we do more to the bass? Bass sounds pretty good. I need to compress it a bit, but before that, I will try. I have cloned the bass track, so it's the same bass track on two different channels in Logic. I will try to put the other one through a guitar amplifier for some slight distortion. I know I don't want this amplifier. I have had best experience with this one on bass. Oh, it's very, very manly. And blended in with the other bass. How does it sound? Open up the top a little bit and the mid-range a little bit on the distorted thing. Without it. Let's try that and try to compress it a little bit. Just to keep it in place with all the other instruments. Do you feel that the bass could be a little fatter? I feel that. So let's go to Logic EQ, Vintage EQ Collection and choose the Tube EQ. No, we choose the Graphic EQ, I think. That's better, in my opinion. The guitars, there's three guitars. One is a more like funky thing. Where I don't really like that low mid frequency. Let's see if I can find it. That frequency. And I can compress this a little bit. So how do I know which compressor to use? I don't. I'm trying all the time. But from experience, I know that some compressors are suitable for certain things more than others. Normally, that's not always the case. In this case, I chose another compressor because I can have control over the attack and the release. Something like that. I will try to put a delay on this guitar and no reverb. Just a short... That is not short. Let's say a 16. 
No. Let's try an eighth. Mm. Let's say a sixteen dotted. That sounds horrible, but if we lower it to more normal fourteen percent. Even 10% and take some high end off and some low end. That could work. And I want to try to use the delay instead of using a reverb. The second guitar is a doubling of the bass. I know that I want to push a little bit of mid-range on that now and we're gonna listen to it together with the bass the guitar is a little bit too loud for my taste but the sound is okay Let's listen to the reverb on that guitar. That's fine. The third guitar I recorded with the intention of having a tremolo and a big verb on it. So let's put a tremolo on this guitar. And we can go to Logic, Amp, some pedals, some pedal board. Choose Modulation and drag a tremolo in. Mm -hmm. Before the tremolo, I like to try a compressor. Just to make the notes longer, more sustain. If I would have compressed it after the tremolo, the compressor would also compress the tremolo. something like that and try the long reverb on that guitar it sounds okay by itself but I believe that it's too much low end and too much low mid so it would clutter up the mix in a bad way later so let's just put a simple equalizer on this My guess is that this is going to be better in the context of the whole song. Let's listen to it. Just a rough balance at this time because we're going to fill in with all the instruments. So I need to adjust the balance after anyway. Uh, then we have uh, Rhodes here, which is the same principle as the guitar we just did, that I want a tremolo and a big reverb on. I think this Rhodes could be in a guitar amplifier, so Logic, Amp and Pedals, Amp Designer, and let's go for this, uh, no, let's go for this Lodge Tweed combo once again, off with the reverb. like that and some tremolo which is built in into the guitar amplifier
Let's try that. And the long reverb. Together with the other guitar, panned left and right. That creates some movement in the mix, which I like. We have a piano. I don't like two bright pianos, but in this case, I think we need to brighten it up and compress it. More like an upright piano style and brighten it up. Let's try that and listen to the short reverb, the short keyboard reverb. Mm, let's look at the reverb, see if we can raise the pre-delay a little bit. That's better for me. If you raise the pre-delay, the attack of the sound is still going to be dry and the reverb comes after the attack, so to speak. Cool. We have a B3. Well, it's not a B3. Sounds really good. Let's try the long reverb on the B3. Actually, let's try a little bit of both, both the short and the long. I think so. Let's listen to all the instruments again. Think we're getting somewhere. The strings, how do they sound? Two channels is me playing the violin. I've dubbed each part three times. And the second channels is Logic's uh, studio strings. Like that. And together, all the strings sound like this. Normally, I don't use presets on EQ and compressors, especially not EQ. But in this case, I actually used a preset called Strings Compressor in the multiband compressor, multipressor. Hard words to say. And uh, it sounds like this. Except for that low end. I like it. Let's pull that down a little bit. And there's already some reverbs on this, but listen to the reverbs one by one. Same thing there, the pre-delay. Better. Let's turn that off and listen to the middle reverb. Too fat and too long. That is cool. And we have a hall reverb. I don't know if we will use it, but let's try it. The 
wrong kind of halls. It's called string hall. It should be good for strings, hence the name string. Let's try fine hall. Too big. Nice sounding reverb, but too big. Let's try soft hall. Nope. Let's try big string reverb. There's something. And I will try to raise the pre-delay pretty high, over 100 milliseconds. That doesn't sound good, but if we lower that and turn on the other reverbs, how does it sound? I like that. Yeah, there's a few more tweakings to do, I think. I think the guitar one is drowning, so let's try to adjust that. much better. Now I can hear it. How's the clap? These claps are mainly there to thicken up the snare drum. So I think that we should dedicate a reverb for them also. So where are where do we have our trusty space designer? I will say medium sizes uh, rooms and go for one of the longer rooms, uh, medium suite. Not that one. Long shaped room. What is that? And <laughs> uh, no. Uh, let's go for let's go for tight room two seconds. This is not bad, but it's obviously too long. Still too long. Still too long. No, we can't do we can't have that reverb either. Let's say sh medium spaces do we have a plate? Tabla plate, what is that? Hmm, maybe we can do something with that. Let's listen to it. That is better in my taste. Let's listen to the other clap. Hmm. I will try to do a little special thing here, just an experiment. Specialized Exciter. Yes. Now you can hear it more clearly. There's only one more instrument that we have to check in this song, and that is the Rhodes on the verse. 
which sounds like this. I will try to make something interesting of this. So logic, um, where do we have it? Filter, and we do the fast wah. Something like that. And let's try to make a stereo chorus after. And then a delay. That is okay. I will lower it to say 20% mix. And together with the other instruments. It can be much nastier. Let's listen to it again. Maybe. Something like that. I think that we have sorted out all the instruments as a start. I'm going to go back and tweak them during the mix. But for now, we have sorted them out. Let's listen to the whole song and see if there's anything else we have to do. Yeah, maybe the strings are a little bit too loud, but um, overall, a decent balance. I have mixed this and had the lead vocal up and running all the time because I don't want to interfere with the lead vocal. I want to have the instruments around the lead vocal, not make some competition. So hope you found that interesting. Thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please do. In the next video, we're going to take care of the vocals and some overall tweaking. The Swedish word of today. Wait a minute. I played this fellow on this song, a violin. In Swedish, this is fuel. Fuel. And roger that.